All right, guys, so we've got the Coho Pack and Carry box. Let's talk about it, dive into it, and see what the purpose of this box is. All right, so I got this box as a means to transport absolute essentials in my car. Now, I've done videos of my truck where I have a truck box and it's got all kinds of stuff in it, but this is a lot smaller, obviously, as you could tell, and this is for the purpose of my everyday vehicle, which is my, uh, my car. I, I'm, I find myself in that more than my truck just to save gas and things like that. So when I'm driving that, I feel a little bit vulnerable. So I wanted something compact that I could throw in the trunk and use if I was ever just out and <laughs> stuff just hit the fan. So let's go into it, see what it's about, and uh, talk about a few things. So nice latches right here. You press them in, that releases them. You can also run a padlock on there. And uh, it's kind of built like a, uh, a Pelican case. This isn't like a, a Plano box where it's super thin. And if it would fall from your trunk or the, your truck bed, it would just completely shatter. Um, this seems to be a little bit more uh, robust. And it's not a cooler. It is an actual like pack and carry box. All right. So here we have a shelving system that's built into the lid. And it is removable. You just twist these little... Uh, red locking mechanisms and that whole piece comes out if you wanted more room to uh have like bulkier items that would stick out these uh pouches can uh in inhibit some of that the lid closure if you stuff them too full so just be mindful of you know what you're packing in here you're not gonna be able to get everything so you kind of have to prioritize what's important to you all right so let me move this uh tripod a little closer so we're gonna go through the pouches first and uh just talk about a little bit so here I have some uh, some gun lube, black tape, a couple of carabiners, nothing crazy. All right, next one. Got uh, Allen wrenches and Torx head bits because that just seems to be what I use the most tool-wise. Uh, this one, I got a extra spare knife, Spyderco, and then my uh, Nightcore EDC 33 flashlight because uh, seeing in the dark is fun, you know? And then in this one, I have a, a multi-tool and then a, just a, another cheap knife with um, fire starter capability because who knows, might end up somewhere for a while, cold, running out of gas, need to start a fire, whatever the case may be, boil water, I don't know. All right, next I have my, I love this because it comes with these little shelves, these little uh, trays right here. So just a pair of gloves. Uh, a hatchet and another uh, fixed blade knife and then I have a hundred feet of diamond braided rope and then some uh, just that sticky gauze just makeshift dressings and stuff like that I can secure it with this all right remove the drawers shelves trays whatever you want to call them and then here we have the fun stuff so what I've decided was a priority for me was to have a uh, you know, it's not a truck, it's my car. So I have a uh, 300 blackout that I broke down and it fits in there. And then a couple extra mags. And then I just got some uh, some camo, my Woodland uh, frog gear. Because uh, if something is going down, obviously I could be wearing some bright eccentric crap. Who knows what I'm wearing that day. Um, I would like to at least dull down my visibility a little bit and maybe it's a day where I'm wearing shorts or something and having pants and long sleeves would be nice. So again, not a lot in here, but a, pretty much the essentials for what I would need to be capable enough to get home. Um, the rope, you know, maybe th this takes up a lot of room because it's 100 feet, obviously. Maybe I could have got 50 feet, maybe whatever. Um, but I don't know, you ever see those videos where somebody has fallen in a sinkhole or something crazy um, out here? Uh, on the west coast sinkholes and all that stuff are pretty prevalent especially with the weather we've been having so 100 feet of rope to be able to maybe assist myself or others um you know that's uh, always a plus all right so here it is in the trunk of my car this is a uh, cadillac ats so very small trunk compared to uh maybe what a lot of you guys have so the dimensions of the thing are 11 inches high 19 inches uh long and it's uh 15 inches deep so 
That's what she said. Um, <laughs> anyway, this thing is IP67 waterproof and dustproof rated. So keep your stuff nice and dry, keep the dirt out of it, all that good stuff. And this thing weighs 11 pounds empty. Obviously, whatever you put in it is gonna dictate what that final weight is. Uh, just wanted to throw that out there. But this thing is uh, pretty awesome. Still have plenty of room for whatever gear I wanted to put in here, groceries, kid stuff, whatever the crap I gotta like put in my trunk that day. But uh, yeah, takes up minimal space. You saw all the gear I was able to put in there. A lot more prepared than I would be if I didn't have this. And I'm just riding around with, you know, my carry piece and a knife and, you know, my, my hand handheld light that's that's pretty much all i would have if i didn't have this box in there so uh feel a little bit more comfortable now when i go places if i do get caught up in something i'll be ready to go so that's uh that's the breakdown on the box guys let me know what you think down in those comments um i know you're gonna ask about price so um what really what introduced me to this box was uh people posting that they got them at costco for 50 bucks and then some people were commenting like oh i got one i'm on sale as they were uh discontinuing them for $25. I was not lucky enough to be able to get 50 or 25, uh, but I did get it on Amazon for just under $100, which, you know, it might be expensive to some people, but I think for what you're getting, the value of it, the feel and construction of this box, um, I, I think it, it still presents quite a value at a hundred and less. So, you know, take that for what it's, what it's worth. If you can get on Costco or your local area has it, then great, jump on it, get it for 50 bucks. Um, but for the rest of us, Amazon was my friend and I couldn't find any other box kind of like this for the price point. Now there's plenty of like storage boxes out there, but they don't have the trays. They don't have the lid organizer. They don't have all that stuff. They don't, they're not as rugged. So if you could find something comparable to this, sure. Let me know. But uh, the closest thing I could find were those like legit pelicans and things like that, which are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And then a lot of them just have the foam inserts. I didn't want any of that. I don't want to cut out a bunch of stuff. And then if you take it out, you still don't have the trays or the lid organizer. You'd have to buy that separately. So let me know what you guys think. If you do have something that's comparable to this, drop the link down in the comments. Let me know because I would love to check it out. But uh, yeah, Coho Pack and Play or Pack and Carry Box. Um, yeah, loving it.